in Bad Romantic One, the the setup. I, I I actually in Bad Romantic One got a few beats from friends, and it wasn't solely produced by myself. And my setup wasn't really a, a, an amazing setup. It was just a simple setup. An Apollo a twin had I can't remember what speakers I had. I had some not so great speakers, a little MIDI keyboard, and a, a MacBook Pro. But now for Bad Romantic Two. I've got my Adam SXHs. I've got my Manly Core um, compressor. I've got my Apollo MK2. That <laughs> things are looking up. Things are not up and up. And with like the production on it, I, I started with some songs. I started with like just keys alone. So um, flaws and all. I actually. I was in Canada and I was on the piano. I finished the session working with an artist and I had some spare time. So I decided to just mess around on the uh, piano. And that's when I created that uh, motif. I was like, ah, oh, this is dope. Let me save it. Recorded it on my phone. I actually recorded it on video because I make so much music, I forget what I play. And I, I, I'm self-taught. I never learned how to play piano. So... I can only play what I hear. If I hear it in my head or somebody sings me a melody or I hear a melody, then I can play it. So I recorded it just to make sure I, I see what chords I'm playing. Came back later on another day and I started making it. I uh, started with some chords. I, I didn't actually start with a piano sound. I tried to find a nice synth and I used Omnisphere, brought up a synth, just a simple pattern. And I used Logic. Logic is my door that I use. Uh, but I use, I operate in two doors. I operate in Logic. Pro X and I operate in FL Studio. Um, I do all my drums in FL Studio because FL Studio drums, I don't know what it is, but it sounds different. It knocks different. And I, I have compared both. I've put both the same doors side by side and I've done the same inputs and the FL drums just sound better. For me, the music in uh, Logic sounds less plastic. I feel like in... In F4, you can tell if someone produced it on F4. Um, except certain producers who you can't tell. But yeah, I digress. Uh, so yeah, started with some synths. Then I reversed another synth in a hook. Simple drums. And I just mixed it so it, it has space. There's a lot of space in the track. Mariachi flow, totally different. Started with some horns. I was like, I just had this, this horn looped, added some, um, a, a keys loop, play some keys in. Then I just started adding sound effects. I wanted dog sounds. I wanted like the drums to be going wild. I just wanted everything to be so busy. So it's fast paced and you're looking at it. Like you can visualize it at the same time, hear it. Like it's doing a lot. So yeah, that, that's, that's some of the processes in terms of me making a track. Some, some of the processes are totally different. It can come from me literally recording it on my phone and recording a voice memo of me singing a melody or singing a drum idea or talking to myself. Sometimes I talk to myself like, don't sleep on this idea, you're high right now, but make sure you do this and this and this when you're sober. So I'm like, all right, shit, cool. And when I'm sober, I redo the whole process and it comes out. It's all erratic, to be honest. There's no specific way I do it in at all. Do, do you know what I use? I'll tell people what I use because I, I, I don't mind. Like People can use the same thing as me. It wouldn't make a difference. Um, everyone has different ideas. But I use RC20 for that. To, I, I use it to detune the sound. So it's, it's in key, but it sounds just a slight bit off. It, it kind of wobbles in between the notes. So imagine, imagine uh, your, your wavelength is on a C. Um, with RC20, you can stretch it so it goes C sharp back to C. It just kind of detunes. And with with the vocals, I didn't. I actually didn't do much. I tried to. I tried to follow like an early Drake method. I I, I think because I was, I'm a big Forty fan, and the way he mixes, it's like there's there's never so many vocals, and it's so busy. I I just do one lead vocal just one lead vocal. And if the vocal is mixed well enough, there's, there's, if you notice, there's no real harmonies, it's a very well mixed vocal and it's, it cuts through the noise of all the distractions from 
of vocals. I feel like sometimes people add so much, make it busy to distract from the fact that the top line isn't necessarily the strongest or the mix isn't necessarily the, a good mix. But it, it's all a different. It, like, it's all a matter of opinion, really. But that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted one lead vocal and just for, some, for the listener to just hear me by myself.